Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is find the HCF and LCM of two numbers. Okay, so first off, HCF stands for the highest common factor. Okay, and LCM stands for the lowest common multiple. Okay, now it's very important that you don't get the two mixed up. HCF is highest common factor, LCM is lowest common multiple. Okay, so the first two numbers we're going to go with are 24 and 30. Okay, so um, the method I'm about to show you is going to be able to find the HCF and LCM of two numbers, uh, and we're going to use a Venn diagram as well. Okay. So uh, in a previous video that I've done, I've looked at how to write a number as a product of its primes. Uh, you can check that out in the link up here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set two numbers up, 24 and 30 like that. And what I'm going to do is the uh, prime factor tree for each of them. Okay, so I'm going to start this off with a 2 and a 12. I'm then going to circle that because it's prime 2 and 6 2 and 3 I'm going to circle these all now because they are prime and then rewrite 24 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 which is 2 to the 3 times 3 I'm then going to do exactly the same for 30 so again I'm going to go with 2 I obviously can't go with 2, 2 times something doesn't give me 15, so I have to go with 3 and 5. So now I'm going to write 30, 2, times 3, times 5. Okay. Now I said I'm going to use uh, Venn diagrams to help uh, work out the um, HCF and LCM. So first let me just move this over slightly. Here's my two Venn diagram circles. Okay, now I'm going to call one of them. So the left one 24 and the right one 30. Now what I'm going to do, rather than doing any shortcuts, I'm going to put all of the numbers that I have here. Okay, so all of these numbers. So not the simplified version. Uh, all of these numbers in the box, or box well, circle of 24. So 2, 2, 2, and 3. Okay, so that's these numbers here. I'm then going to do exactly the same thing for these numbers here. Okay, so 2, 3, and 5. 2, 3, and 5. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross out each pair from each side. So I've got a 2 here, which I can cross, and I'll cross that with this 2 here. I then write 1, 2 in the centre, because that's shared between uh, each number. I then do the same for all of the other numbers. So the only other one I can do is 3. So I've got a 3 here. I can cancel that with a 3 here, and then I can write the 3 in the centre like that. Okay. Once I've checked and I can't uh, cross off any pairs of numbers, I'm finished. So to find the HCF, what we need to do is multiply the numbers in the center of the Venn diagram. So for us in this example, it's going to be 2 times 3, which gives us a HCF of 6. Okay, and we've now found the HCF of 24 and 30. Okay, to find the LCM you multiply every number that is not crossed out. So I'm going to go from the left and work towards the right. 2 times 2. Okay, so that's the left circle done. I'm then also going to do the center. So 2 times 3. And then I've got a 5 left over on the right hand side circle. I'm then going to multiply all of this together. So step by step process LCM. 2 times 2 is 4. So I can really uh, stall it out like this to make sure I'm doing it right 
um, especially handy if you do not have a calculator or it's in a non-calculator test. 4 times 2 would give us 8. 8 times 3 would give us 24. And then 24 times 5 will give us 120. Okay, so that means the LCM is 120 for 24 and 30. Okay, and that's how you find the HCF and LCM of two numbers.